has taken an extreme step in dealing with homelessness, labeling some of them, quote, habitual drunkards. And they're even threatening merchants who serve them alcohol with arrest. But is the city on the wrong side of the law? Investigative reporter Bob Norman with the exclusive tonight. They're plastering people's names on doors. Their faces, names, and birth dates were posted for the public to see at this gas station. It's just a scarlet letter. Those on the notices are singled out as known habitual drunkards. And the stores that receive them are ordered on threat of criminal charge not to sell them alcohol. Labeling somebody as a drunkard, which is just totally slanderous. Attorney John David said all appear to be homeless, with several of them listing their address here at the Jubilee Center for the Homeless in Hollywood. It's a total attack on the homeless there, and it's just outrageous. The drunkard notices are coming from the city of Hollywood and its police department, but now legal experts are questioning if it's the city that's breaking the law. I think it's blatant discrimination. Assistant Public Defender Rudy Morell said the arcane statute cited by the police department dates back to the 1940s and makes it a misdemeanor for a business to serve an alleged alcoholic after family notification. But the law doesn't give police officers that power. They're not applying it uh, properly. They're using color of government to single out a, a class of, of individuals. It's really. Hollywood's continuing war on the homeless. Attorney David said he intends to file suit against the city on behalf of his client, homeless advocate Sean Canoni. We're not going into any other person in the city. They're not singling out uh, affluent uh, pr uh, purchasers who may have just as bad an alcohol problem and may even arrive in a car. Morell is also a medical doctor and he said the practice could pose a health risk for those on the lists. They could go into a serious alcohol withdrawal which can be deadly. I love this. Hollywood Commissioner Dick Blattner praised the city's practice. I like it. Blattner like said it's designed to get vagrants out of public areas. People were hanging out, buying single serve beer, going into the parks and into the canals, upsetting the neighbors and the homeowners, littering and trashing the community. Labeling people in your city as drunkards. Isn't that? Doesn't well, that... the language does bother me. Probably would be better if we had a better way of defining who should and should not have alcoholic beverages. Wait Just a second, wait a second. When did it become the city's business to determine who can and can't have uh, alcoholic beverages? Well, I think it becomes the city's business to alert uh, those who sell products that lead to unseemly behavior uh, that it's best if they don't do that. Do you think this is constitutional? Do I you think this is I don't know. But wouldn't you want to know that before this I'll is ask implemented? My, I'll ask the city Can attorney. The city issued a statement to Local 10 saying six of the men on the notices had compiled nearly 100 arrests and municipal violations apiece. And the drunkard notices were intended as an alternative to jail and to help them find the resources they need to improve their lives. But homeless advocates say that help, such as detox beds, simply isn't available. They're, in my opinion, practicing a type of social cleansing which is deeply offensive, uh, should be offensive to every resident and citizen in this country because that's not the kind of thing we do as Americans. In Hollywood, Bob Norman, Local 10 News. Okay, Bob, thanks a lot. And when Bob followed up with Blattner, the commissioner refused to comment any further on their practice.